Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Chad from The Right Line and today I wanted to show you just real quickly in a short video how far I got with the spare tire carrier. So initially I had a spare tire mounted right here. I didn't really like it. I was trying to figure out where I wanted to put it. I was gonna put it right there, right on the front of the trailer. Now it's nice because it puts the weight at the front, which is gonna be nice for tongue weight. Um, it doesn't stick out any wider than the track width of the trailer, which is nice. So I'm using a vertical latch toggle, I think is what they call that, to hold that closed. And then I ordered another pivot from 4x Innovations. Now this is the left-hand side, or the driver's side pivot. So unlike the door in the back, it's gonna open to the left and not the right. So with that swinging open the way it does, it's gonna allow me to get into this RV door that's behind here. Of course, you don't see it there, because. I don't have it on. Kind of excited how that worked out. All right, so if anybody wants to know how much fun it is to carve out the front wheel hub of a Jeep JK unit bearing for that, uh, it's not fun. There's the stop right there. like a polyurethane bushing and so it keeps this from bouncing. The only modification I think I might have to do, and I tested this here just a minute ago, is the gap between the wall here and that upright of the tire carrier. With the RV door in here, there's about 3 eighths of an inch difference between the surface of the RV door and that right there. So I may have to notch this down there and tip this out just a little bit to get to clear that door. One more other cool thing I did here was in the rear door. Let me show you what I did there. That rear door swings open. It's got that 4x Innovations pivot down there, but I made a table. Now the table flips up like that with these brackets here that I found on Amazon, okay? And you squeeze this, and then the table comes down, and I'm gonna have Joseph work on a, a latch for me. Maybe have him 3D print a latch for me to um, hold that closed while we're traveling. Anyways, I think it's pretty cool. It's just a perfect size for a Coleman stove, Probably a perfect size for the base camp from uh, Jetboil, and my Jetboil stove can go up here too, so I'm pretty thrilled about how that turned out. All right, we're whittling down the steps on the trailer. It's uh, getting closer and closer to getting done. I put my safety chains on uh, about a week ago. The chains themselves are a little bit overkill for the application, but it's kind of what I had in the garage. I'm gonna go pick this up today. I don't have it yet, but I bought a lock and roll hitch off-road hitch uh, for the trailer. So that'll be in the next video. Um, next up, wiring the trailer. Uh, I'm not gonna get to the secondary wiring for the trailer yet, i.e. the lithium battery and power inverter and charging system and all that. I'm not gonna get to that uh, for at least a little bit, but I am gonna put LED lights in the back, uh, stop lights, turn lights, all that stuff, that good stuff, of course. I've got my clearance lights that I have to mount here. There, and uh, and the brakes. I gotta get that done, and then I can go get it inspected, get a tag on it. Anyways, this was just a really short video. This is really all the time I had today to go over the, the trailer. I've gotta get some other stuff done around the house. Thank you for following along with this build. I think this is video eight, I think. But anyways, if you like what you see, please consider a like, comment, or a share. And 
don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.